This week's question comes from Thomas from McLean, Virginia. Roger, I've been a big fan for years. I need your help. I've got to get over the fear of calling the deer. What do I do? All right, Thomas, thanks for that question. I'm going to read you something that I just jotted down 15 minutes ago. All right. Fear is probably the greatest deterrent in life that keeps us from moving out of our comfort zone and experiencing newer, better things, fulfilling our dreams, and even our God-given destiny. Thomas, uh, I'm, a, I'm a Harley guy. I own a bike. I'm a bike rider, all right? At 50 years old, I got tired of seeing guys running up and down the highway on motorcycles, the wind blowing their hair and had a pretty gal on the back. It looked to me like they were having a pretty good time, all right? For 50 years, I was terrified of motorcycles, scared to death of them, all right? I got up one Saturday morning. I went down to the local Harley dealer here in Tulsa, Route 66. I said, I want a new Harley. He said, if you want a new one, you got to order it. I said, all right. He said, what do you want? I said, I want the biggest one you got. He said, a classic? I said, yeah. He said, what do you want to put on it? I said, I want you to put everything on it you can get. He said, you ride a lot, do you? I said, I ain't never been on one in my life. I'm scared to death of them. He put the pen down. He said, you sure you want to do this? I said, how long will it take for it to come in? He said, about six months. I said, between now and six months, I'm going to learn how to ride, and I'm going to get over the fear of motorcycles. First thing I did, I enrolled in a class. You know, I'm sitting in there with 12, most of them's women, 12 people. He said, how many here have never been on a motorcycle? I was the only one. He said, how old are you? 50. He said, are you scared of them? I said, yes, sir, I am. That afternoon when I got on that bike, I felt like I was sitting on a missile. <laughs> it was a little old 250. But let me tell you, I completed that class, all right? My bike arrived December the 23rd. He said, your bike's in, come get it. I said, I'm not ready to ride in Tulsa track traffic. Can you bring it to me? He said, yeah, we'll just bring it to you. Since then, I am proud to say I have ridden my bike in 5 o'clock Dallas-Fort Worth traffic. All right? I ride it everywhere. I love it. Best decision I ever made. Me and Darlene get on that, and we just take off. You know, most deer hunters are not afraid to blow on their deer call. They're just afraid to do it when that deer's standing out there in front of them. You know how you get over that fear? You take that call, stick it in your mouth, and you blow on that thing. Just make a noise. I don't care what it is. And do it loud enough until the deer responds. You face your fears head on and tackle it. That's how you do it. Early on in my hunting career. You know, 20 years ago, people were just starting to use deer calls and nobody knew anything about them. I had just started using deer calls a little bit, just trying to get used to them. And I went on a hunt out in the Panhandle, of Oklahoma, got up and went out there that morning and I forgot my calls, forgot them. And I had an experience happen to me. I had an encounter. Something took place that morning that changed my life forever. And I'm glad that it did. It's pretty safe to say we were hunting in the wide open spaces. It's not like we were hidden either. And this was a rifle hunt. And early on, a really nice buck was making the rounds. Eh. 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 I wish I'd had my bow. I'd have shot him. Now you talk about crawling out of your cocoon or out of your comfort zone. I had never done anything like that before. 
but after that morning and calling that deer in like I did, buddy, is Katie bar the door. I was never afraid, and you talk about confidence, all right? You bow hunters in particular, you're sitting there in your tree stand, that deer stand out there 60 yards, blow on that thing, all right? You're not gonna shoot him anyway. He may run off, but he may turn and come right straight to you on a string. And when those experiences happen, let me tell you, those are mighty sweet. <laughs>